is good. Good day, fellas. <laughs> Right everyone, quick look into what we're running. We're no three in this patrol 4.2 here. We've upgraded the engine with my mate Kyle in his shed. We put a G-Turbo red wheel in there and a bigger intercooler on top, obviously the bigger hood scoop. Running about 25 psi on a pretty safe tune. We've got a couple GME long range aerials up the front here for the UHF communication and the radio. Stock ARB bull bar. Maxi's Razor, Mud Tires, 315s, OCAM, big color mirrors so I can see that thing coming down the road behind me. Uh, we've got some June recovery trucks up on the front roof right there. Up top, on top of the rooftop there, we're running a 350 watt kick ass solar panel, plugged straight into the batteries on the other side. We've got a Bushwhacker 270 warning on this side. And we have the double shower tent bushwhack warning on the other side. Under the tray, 7 litre water tank running through the kick ass 12 litre a minute pump box, plumbed up to a few taps. Uh, TJM bin bag, obviously take all your rubbish with you, don't be a grub. On the back, custom folding ladder that me and my mate Kyle again in his shed fold, uh, welded up. through what we run on the back here. We have a 2015 MFI belt canopy. She's a steel frame with aluminium skins. Both the doors are twin skinned Deluca Bond with a bit of insulation in the middle. Keeps everything nice and cool inside here. King's 85 litre upright on the kitchen side. Run the pantry, pots, pans, all your bits and pieces. Pull out table underneath the fridge. Plenty of room on that. We've got the Starlink set up there. That'll keep us on line while we're out in the middle of nowhere. And as you see there, there's a bit of a drop down. So she has a built-in rooftop tent. We'll come around the back. You can see up the stairway to heaven, into the rooftop tent. That folds down nice and neat with the drop down. There is a full pillow top in a sprung mattress in there. Nice and comfy while we're away. We sneak past the shower tent awning. It's the same on this side. Twin skin, insulated door. We've got the 12 volt set up. Big storage compartment here. That's a solar input. A few other Anderson plugs run the pump, water pump and the fridge. 2000 watt inverter, everything run to a fuse panel over there, nice and neat. Got the Red Arc ACDC for the solar input and the Thunder battery charger for the mains if we need to pull up to a powered site and plug in. Got the Weber sitting there. We've got two 115 AGM batteries, giving us 230 amp hours. His and hers closed drawers. Plenty of storage in there. And the 
then a little fall down rod rack that me and my mate put together. Keeps all those nice and safe while we're bouncing on the coral gates. Of me. <laughs> of you. Alright, bush mechanics. 101. Jack this side up. Sick timber under. He's off. The other side's got the jack under it. He's off the ground. I saw it as. So, I'm going to see if we can run this strap chassis to chassis and hold this thing together until we get into town. Lovely. Yeah, check this out. Fuck. Not good. Sitting on. Hmm. So give us an update. What's happening? Um, bush mechanics part part one didn't work. The strap did not, in fact, hold. So we had to leave the boat and Hannah here for a little minute. Or I ducked off. Went and found a farmer in his shed. Piece of steel, couple of holes drilled in it. And um, replaced that bar in the middle there. So now we gotta jack this back up. Cut that out of the guts. Hope that that fits and my measurements are right. And see how that goes. This was my survival gear when I was left here by myself. Back of chips, water ball. And beer. <laughs> Essentials. <laughs> Essentials. Got in? Got in. Fun in the sun. for it. Oh, empty. More oh, please. Empty. on there. You got a kind of a spot to get to. Yeah, so that is the old sort of torsion bar, I guess you'd call it. Which goes in between these two suspension setups at the front here. Just to keep them together. She snapped down there at that weld. Right around here. And that's what's giving us dramas where we welded it. So I'll just put a solid one in. It's a little bit higher than where the roller is when you're getting a boat on. So I'll have to see how that goes. I might have to put a roller on the back of this. But that should get us out of trouble. It's been a hot, sweaty day. It's Time is seven. Shit. <laughs> what time did you break down? Like two? 
I think we broke down about three, three thirty. So yeah. Wow, can't believe we're almost there. Moment of truth. Almost. Almost. Oh yeah. Yeah. Check the other side down, we'll see how we went. Oh yeah. Any clearance on the tire? We good. <laughs> 